So Tanvi, are you still performing any dances yes. on stage? Mm -hmm. Or in future, do you have any programs planned up already? Yes, we have a summer dance show coming up um, this, this summer. And we're planning to do a dance show along with singing and just a whole bunch of talent in the Dallas community. And we're looking forward to that. And I'm going to be in the dance show as well. Okay, so you're keeping up with your dance. Thing. Yes. That is your passion, right? Yes, dance. Apart dance. From <laughs> till I die. Are like, uh, these things came after. Yes, but the first dance is that you have the very first dance. passion. Okay. Yeah, very first. So you have to continue that, I think. Yes. <laughs> because whatever you have passion in that, mm -hmm. that is the one. It, it never will, goes away. Yeah. Never goes away. It will fetch you something, mm -hmm. kind of. Okay. So, but uh, when you're talking about the pageant preparation, you said you had to shop for your dresses. Mm -hmm. You took two months for all the preparations for your yeah. dance and everything. So, did you have to buy your own dresses or did they sponsor? Yes, um, we had to buy our own dresses because that shows, they told us to buy our own dresses because that shows like our personality, like the way we dress up, oh, not yeah. what they give us. So, it shows our personality through our dresses, the way we dress up. And I think that, that, is, that is why they told us to pick our own dresses and the way we dress up. Oh, that's nice. To let the audience members and the judges to know how the actual, the girl is, you know? Okay. Not just them giving us this and you have to wear this. So oh. it was different. That's nice. I think All most of the pageants are, you have to wear your own. But like, I think they give you a little, like, they don't, they have some, um, like, you, don't, you can't wear like completely strapless. There's some like rules to it, but mm -hmm. mostly it was whatever you like to wear, whatever color you like. Like I liked blue, so I wore a blue gown and like I try to be conservative with my Indian wear. Like I don't like showing off of Indian wear, so I wore a long sleeve, but it was pretty and neat. So that's what I wore. Okay. So always sitting in the audience or sit watching uh, before TV, mm -hmm. the Miss India competitions. Mm -hmm. So I always wondered, they come with the evening gown around right. all these things, right? right? So what exactly they look for in that round? In the, are they looking for a dress sense? Or are they looking for their how they are walking in the dress? or what It's exactly? mostly what they look for is the confidence level. Okay. The way you walk shows how confident you are on stage and how you can approach like the way you walk shows your confidence level. And when you're on stage, you're in front of thousands of people and those people are looking at you like only you are on stage. And you should look at them. And like, I was looking at my friends in the audience, like my friend Riddhi and Neha, they were in the audience. And I was looking at them and I was like, okay, they're giving me confidence, but at the same time, I had to look at the judges as well. And when I was walking, like the confidence level, I had to keep that. I think that's the main part they look at. Okay, but they are not really looking at the dress. They look at the, they look, I think overall they look at everything, the way you dress up, the way you show yourself, like how you, how you walk around the stage. But mostly it's the, it's the confidence level. Like it comes, it just comes. It's yeah. nothing that you can try to do, but some people do work hard. I also had to work really hard. Like they look at your catwalk. So catwalk, I was not at all familiar with it. I had to work on it. They worked on all of us. Mm -hmm. So they taught us how to catwalk and how to present myself, you know, not look down, I had to look up all the time, keep a smile on my face and just look really, really like charming, you know, mm -hmm. so everyone would be happy. Yeah, it feels easy like watching mm -hmm. TV or something. You yeah. feel like, okay, you can walk at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I try to, right. <laughs> but when you get onto the stage, that is yes. when you realize like it's, it's a lot of you get all nervous and then when you show the audience that no, you're, you're confident about yourself that okay, I'm going to put myself out there and walk around the stage and that, that is one main thing they look at. Yeah, the, I can imagine the so I think the key word is like confidence for this I can part. imagine the Miss World pageants and Yo, stuff. Yes, so how, those are how big. much it takes yes. for them and answering those questions oh, also. Yeah, very. So answering those questions, did you prepare for a lot, bunch of questions? You know, like there are like few pageant questions, mm -hmm. even I am aware of. Yes. <laughs> so did you prepare in that way or uh, uh, you kept reading? I just people? kept, uh, like I searched like uh, pageant questions that were asked previously. And then they gave us, since we were a team, then we weren't familiar with all this um, kind of mm -hmm. atmosphere. So they were like, here, we'll give you a set of questions that we'll ask you from. It will be any question, any one question, but you have to prepare for all of them. Okay. So they would give us like about 30 questions that we had to prepare. So I just kept look over them, looking over them, but I never like had like a like a 
answer ready for it. You know, I didn't memorize it. It just came to me like when I when I came on stage, I wasn't hoping like hoping I get this question or this question, so I know the answer better to this one. Yeah. It just came like whatever answer I had on mind, I gave it. Do you remember still? It was, was it was. Um, I remember. I think it was uh, about Facebook. If um, is it helping? It was Facebook getting people closer or Facebook any like Facebook, oh, okay. Twitter, all these um, media. Is it getting people closer or farther oh, away? Oh, yeah, okay. oh. far apart. So I said they were, and okay. I just whatever was on my mind came. Okay, that was nice. Mm -hmm. So did you answer like for or against? I answer for. For okay, it's getting closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, in a way, it is getting some people closer. Like Definitely. Whom we missed. Yes. <laughs>